objective accomplished. Analysis of NASDA Central leaves no doubt that the Collective has introduced the Nexus Intruder virus to it. The nuclear reactor was going to be used to power a vast network of pre-collapsed computer systems. Analysis indicates that these systems were part of the control system for the NASDA satellites. It's now certain that Nexus was responsible for the collapse. During the early stages of the collapse, NASDA technicians switched off the infected systems in order to isolate the spread of Nexus. This seems to have prevented the LASATs from firing during the counterstrikes. The ensuing nuclear magnetic pulses wiped clean large amounts of NASDA's memory banks, shattering its core processor, and sent shockwaves blasting through Nexus. Nexus was fried as whole sections of its consciousness were obliterated in the counterstrikes. Since the collapse, remnants of Nexus consciousness have been attempting to locate and recover any of its still-functioning memory banks. Information gained here has allowed Nexus to shift part of its consciousness to an intact remote control site for the NASDA satellites. Commander, we are detecting transmissions from this site that are reaching high orbit. Nexus has now reconnected itself with the NASDA satellites. This poses a major threat to the project and to our survival. Commander, use your transports to carry a strike force to this site. Destroy it, then return to base. Mission timer activated. This stage takes a bit, but not so much time that we need a whole hour on the away part. So I will take the first 10 minutes and further augment my defenses on this map. I'll return in a bit to show you what it looks like. Construction. My northern line has been augmented by assault guns and whirlwinds. And in addition, I am trying out something I haven't done in the past. I'll see if it actually works in a stage or three, but I will take the eight new Arnold VTOL designs and place them, four north and four southeast, along with a VTOL strike tower, to see if I can have them jump in to gain some experience in the stage where the collective conflict comes to a head. Each group of four has been given specific attachment instructions to the sensor they are close to to prevent them from deciding to fly across the map to help the other location, which they'd never arrive in time to given they fly slower than I walk. Assault guns have been added to each line, though there is still a small gap for one more type of hardpoint. The assorted AA pits around the stage have been augmented with whirlwind pits. Money isn't an issue, and neither is my computer's processor power, so I was quite liberal with their distribution. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Construction completed. Assault guns and MG bunkers added to the southeast corner, completed. and my football is already loaded with two heavy bobs, the commander, and an completed. MBG mix consisting of a cannon, two assault guns, three lancers, and a Pringles can. This stage is one of those ones where a strategy guide can make all the difference. It's an absolute pain of a stage with the Collective having one major weakness that we are going to exploit the heck out of. But before we can do that, we have to survive. Last stage, we started getting artillery right at the start, and constantly, until we dealt with it via reinforcements turning the tide. This stage, we will get rushed by land forces, in large quantities and near constantly, until we deal with it via reinforcements turning the tide. Assigned Immediately start an MBG reinforcement group, available. abandon the LZ, and head west. We need to pick a spot to make our stand at, and the only place that's not already occupied and semi-open for maneuvering is this flat... It's not really a plateau, not enough grass for a field. Flat X urban crossroad? Construction completed. Enemy base 
detected. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Only move far enough to remove buildings for vision purposes. Beyond that, you want to repair bay up ASAP. The CB tower I put up is wholly unnecessary this early on. And then... LP compromised. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. LP clear. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. LP compromised. LP clear. Structure under attack. You are going to be under fire like this for the first three minutes. Have your MBG cover your trucks as you set up defenses, and in their spare time, clear off anything that's moved onto your landing zone. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Our goal is to hold out until two sets of reinforcements arrive, the one that just landed, and the artillery team, and then we can turn the tables. Structure under attack. Structure reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. This collective tank push looks extra scary, but they left something out of it. They have a lot of tanks, but not much DPS. At this stage of the game, heavy cannons and HPVs aren't really what our Python track vehicles fear, even in large numbers like we see here. We are taking howitzer shots, but no MLRS hits, and the artillery doesn't seem as heavy as last stage. Under attack. Group 
One reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. 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 Reinforcement land. When the artillery gets here is when you'll need to have your CB, and preferably forward sensor, towers up, at which point the collective's main strength and main weakness will become more apparent. Their strength is that, no matter where we move on this map, everywhere is a giant narrow choke point. There is no way to engage large forces on this map that won't involve one side or the other being bottlenecked, and since this is their base, they have defenses overlooking almost everything. Their weakness is that, for whatever reason, they seem to have forgotten to build CB towers. Like, anywhere. So just like Beta-6, our artillery could have an absolute party on this stage. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. To reporting. Structure under attack. Assigned to counter battery radar. One reporting. Unit under attack. LZ compromised. LZ clear. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. LZ clear. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Construction completed. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit 
under attack. Unit under attack. LP compromised. LP clear. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Reinforcement landing. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Construction completed. Assigned to commander. Structure under attack. The commander will stay around long enough to make sure the trucks and McShooters don't get run over by tanks, but once they have a sufficient defense in front of them, our MBG is going to deal with their main central base by ignoring it completely. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to counter battery radar. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. I sent the MBG to the southeast to clear out the random repair bay down there, and then we'll turn them north to go for the enemy VTOL rearming pads with a truck behind them to set up extra repair facilities. While I let the entire central base fall to a constant bombardment by the artillery team, a couple extra MLRS emplacements as soon as I think of them, and slowly creeping CB and sensors forward. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction complete. Structure under attack. Construction complete. Assigned to counter battery radar. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting.
structure under attack. Group two reporting. Assigned defensive unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. 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 Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. One reporting. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Detected. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Assigned system. reporting. Unit under attack. 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 Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Group three reporting.
Construction completed. Group 3 reporting. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Eradicated. Group one reporting. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. So as to save time for research and redesign, I won't put any sensors farther than this. I will move the McSpottoms forward for the rest of my artillery targeting needs. Group 2 reporting. Group 3 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Reporting. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. One reporting. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Artifact detected.
remove the MLRS so as to more fine-tune the removal of enemy structures. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. to reporting. Detected. Group two reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group three reporting. Artifact recovered. Artifact recovered. Artifact detected. Artifact recovered. Return to LZ. Bingo. 
Enemy sensors and walls aren't going to be much threat to us by themselves, so let's look at our research. Return to LZ. Systems research completed. Systems research completed. The VTOL CB tower and turret. This is just like the normal CB tower and turret, except you assign planes to it rather than artillery. Not much application in the campaign as enemy artillery, whether building or mobile, tends to be with solid AA defenses. Weapon research completed. Structure research completed. The pepper pot rotary mortar and emplacement. Also not very useful in the campaign. While a fast firing artillery sounds great, the damage per shot combined with firing range is just too low at this point in the campaign to have any useful application. If this was a rotary bombard perhaps, but the basic mortar just is too far back in the tech tree. Weapon research completed. And here, the tank killer. Structure research completed. Structure research completed. And two defensive structures. Hold on, I have just the sound effect for this. Let's get this into our fighting lineup immediately. Dealing about 17% more DPS than the Lancer, and having more damage per shot, this is just the anti-heavy tank upgrade we've been waiting for. Recycle, rebuild, and fly the new TK designs in before leaving the stage. And once in, put the last collective sensor out of its misery. Return to LZ. Assigned to Commander. Oh, and take a break. Beta 9 is going to start off real hectic. Don't want to play a tired. Enemy Objective accomplished. 